Hey Megalithomaniacs, we're in a site in Mexico called Aki, A-K-E. Now this is a rarely visited site, it's about 45 minutes east of Merida. The thing about this site is, is that it's got megalithic construction, that's why I wanted to check this out. And Ak, this like means place of the reeds. And this goes back, amazingly, 2,300 years, or it could be much older. It would thrive between 600 and 1200 AD. Um, and it was really abandoned around 1450 and it declined around that time. The central zone had a huge wall. Had, a second wall was actually built by the later cultures here. And the main plaza is where obviously the governor lived. Um, there's residential areas. Some constructions had th have this megalithic style, which are the earlier constructions. Large blocks of stone, they were later rebuilt and modified into the Puk style, where they started using mortar and plaster. Um, structure one stands out. This is really interesting, because this is where they carried out great ceremon ceremonies in front of the plaza, where people would meet occasionally. And these pillars thought they may have held up a large roof, but they may have even been astronomical. There's also a glyph was found here, which is really interesting. It represents a hand holding a fish. This is believed to mean conjure clouds, storms and winds. So this could be an early reference to Tlaloc, or it could be like the giant myths, the sowers of thunder stories we find in Britain. Another feature of Ake is it had a system of paths, these sack bays that stretch for many miles in many different directions within the site and further afield. Uh, and there's one that leads all the way to Izamal, which is several miles away. And they, you know, the Mayans were known to have walked these paths on ceremonial purposes, but probably practical as well. And it's just, you know, one of these obscure, rarely visited, really interesting sites in the Yucatan, just 45 minutes east of Merida. And the thing about this site is it goes back to the pre-classic era to at least 300, um, BC and the fact that it's got megalithic construction really fascinates me. It actually says that on some of the websites and it's the first structure in all of Yucatan, even the whole Maya land, to have columns at the top of their temples like we find at Toltec sites like uh, Chichen Itza which is Toltec and Maya. Also like we find at Tula up in uh, you know, near Mexico City um, and it's interesting they've got like a mix because the Spanish had a battle here with the Maya in what, 16, 1700s, there's actual kind of evidence of that. And they've actually, there's like hacienda has been built upon some of the ruins to kind of take over it. Also the church. So we're gonna have a look around as best we can and actually look at some of that. We've got like a rail track going here, but look, you've got a little fire here. Now we've got many of the, the blocks just lying around outside the site. We've got the hacienda over here, which is partly built on Mayan ruins, which we're gonna have a look at. And this continues down here, but we're kind of heading away from the site now. So just behind me here, you can kind of see the main pyramid of the site. Now there's all there's many different styles here. We have the megalithic style, which I believe goes back to beyond 300 BC. Seems like it's older. Uh, we have the columns, which are like Toltec. We have the Puk style, which is like the plaster and the different glyphs and carvings of faces and so forth. And we have sack bays leading from this as well. But the fact it's megalithic is interesting because they were lugging multi-ton stones around at this site, which is completely different to the other sites you mainly find in the Yucatan. That's why I find this one particularly interesting. So we're just at the entrance here already. If you just look over there, you can see some of the megalithic blocks. Some of these are absolutely giant. So all over there as well. And some of these just sticking out the side are of very, very large size. It's absolutely, it's quite impressive. It's quite strange to find this here. And we must remember that um, this really began like 300 BC. So this is almost the era of the Olmecs. We've also got like a circular pool type thing just there. This is obviously the pyramid. And later it had Puk style. So it had some kind of glyphs and faces that were made of 
um, different types of plaster. But here you can see the main construction. There's much more behind it, which we're going to have a look at in a while. Even just outside the entrance here, we have a whole bunch of pretty large blocks just scattered around. And really want to get a good, good view of this. But again, we've just got the main construction here with huge stones sticking out the side of it. And also there's one of the avenues, possibly the sack bay heading into the main site. Now, this megalithic construction really fascinates me because this is a major task. I mean, not many sites in Maya land have this. You find a few examples at Palenque, a few pieces, and stellar places like Calak Mul, Uxmal, and so forth, but not really generally, but this, there's tons of it literally tons of it hundreds of tons thousands possibly and so this really intrigues me and it suggests an earlier date of 300 bc and it's kind of rearing back into olmec zone time you know with the the time you know because we know the olmecs were still around around 500 bc so there is a chance they came up to the yucatan or some of them did and may have been involved in the construction of a few sites maybe this one here especially as you have this kind of um uh, the style here, which later changed into the Puk style. So yeah, this is really interesting. And, you know, it's quite different to the other Mayan sites. It has a different feel to it. It's got almost like uh, Zapotec columns, you know, which you find at Tula, you find at um, Chichen Itza and other places, but not many other sites. And that's really Zapotec, Toltec kind of vibe. So inside the site of Ake, the guard let me in to have a quick look around because, you know, I'm a researcher. Um, and you can see, look, just megalithic blocks lying all over the place. The whole foundation of this site is megalithic. Even the hacienda is megalithic foundations and the church itself, which built over the main Mayan site. Look at this, look at the size of these blocks. These are the original blocks. These are added later, but look at these original blocks. These are gigantic. This is very much like Chimalakitlan down in Morelis, a long way from here. This goes way up there. And these are a ton each at least. So it's very impressive to be in here and see this. So we're just walking around the edge of this particular structure and this is where it's at look at that that is absolutely mind-blowing unbelievable we have a sunken plaza here with a massive platform with the giant columns on over there we're going to definitely go and have a look at that i've got to stay out of sight this is insane. It's just like kind of Chichen Itza or Tula. Then we have these giant steps. I mean, these are gigantic stones. These are not small going all the way to the top there. Then on top there, we, you know, just beneath the tree there, you can see massive, massive blocks. What an amazing place. It looks like a ball court down there. So we're literally right on top. The main pyramid here. There's blocks all down here, everywhere you look. There's this as well. It looks like a, some kind of circular structure, like a sacred well right on top of the site. Utterly mind blowing, got trees growing out of it. So actually on top of like the main pyramid here at Aki, and you can see the amazing pillars and platform behind me. This is an incredible place to be. Really do recommend coming to this amazing site.
So here we have one of the giant stele, which we find here at Aki. And down there is like the path to the main plaza. You can see some of the pillars on the temple up there. But this is interesting is down here, if we go a little bit further, which we're going to do now, you actually see the beginning. You see another stone here, actually. You actually see the beginning of a sagbi, which is kind of why I'm here, because I wanted to research the locations, the beginning, and parts of the lengths of the sack bay at this particular site because it connects with Izamal. And you can see this could be actually over here. We're walking by the edge of the sack bay. You can see it's raised area there next to us. So that could be proof of that. And it's actually a kind of rampart going across it, which is what we do find along different parts of sack bays at different locations. Interesting. So this is like part of the road, basically. God, look at this. Now this is out of bounds. Oh my God, look at the megalithicness of this. This is insane. Look at this. This is on par with Izamal, even bigger stones. These are absolutely gigantic. That is a serious piece of stone. Look at the size of that. Wow. All, all through this temple here which is marking the orientation of the Sackby. So we're just on top of this unrecorded structure which is on the far eastern side of Aki. Now you can see the megalithic blocks here I've just been showing you these but these are incredible. Now this is like a pyramid made of megaliths and it marks really the beginning or very close to the beginning or a part of a much longer axis called a Sackby, a sacred white road. The reason this is interesting is because officially there's a sack bay between here and Izamal, but back in the late 1800s it was recorded by native um, Mayans that they, the sack bay actually goes all the way to Merida, to the main plaza, which is where Mayan temple used to be called Taihu. And that's interesting in itself, but it may even be the longest sack bay in the entire country, over 300 kilometers or about 220 miles, and go all the way to the Caribbean coast, north of Tulum, uh, south of Cancun, um, sort of aligning with Cozumel, which is a sacred island. And so amazing to be here, this lost part of Aki, one of the most interesting and megalithic Mayan sites here in Yucatan. I mean, just look, just get a sense of scale. I'm standing at head height here, just a few feet away. You can see this mega block here, like these huge slabs. That's like three, maybe, so it's four feet wide at least. They're all quite big. So I can't get over here. There's no way through. So I just went around behind the pyramid and this is part of the sack by here. Some large stones make up the main kind of chunk. And you see it dips down over there. So this is the raised part I'm actually on. So I'm actually on part of the sack bee now. Can't really get any further, unfortunately. But you can see I'm in just thick jungle here. Green hell, they used to call it. Back out into the era, area, the megalithic pyramid here. So we're just leaving the site. We got to see some of the site. I had to pay a little bit to get in. And seriously, there's so much megalithic stuff going on here. It's absolutely incredible. So. It's been an amazing, quite short visit. I managed to get on top of one pyramid, get close up to the columns. Absolutely mind-blowing. So check out Aki if you get a chance.